Amita, can you confirm is my screen visible? Yes, Swati. Okay. So good morning, everyone. And thank you for joining our today's event on our weekend morning. So as you all know that our today's event will be on GraphQL wire adapter in LWC, which will be presented by Amit Kumar, who is our today's speaker. Talking about myself, I am Swati Agarwal. I am working as a senior Salesforce consultant at Marlabs. I am 9x certified Salesforce developer. I have mentioned my LinkedIn and Twitter handle. You can reach out to me over the mention IDs. Along with me, we are having Sandhya, who is a co-leader of Kochi Developer Group. She is Salesforce Architect at UST. She is 6x Salesforce Certified Application Architect. Sandhya's LinkedIn and Twitter IDs are also mentioned. You can reach out to her as well. So today's agenda is that uh, Amit will be talking about a, a GraphQL, also its features and benefits, and how it is better than LWC LDS adapter. Also, I'll request everyone to please post your questions in the dedicated Q&A tab so that at the end of the session, uh, Amit can take up your questions and he'll respond your queries. You can reach out to us uh, with the mentioned our Twitter handle and uh, LinkedIn IDs. Along with this, we, are, we have mentioned our Trailblazer email IDs. So if you have any queries, you can directly write to us over here. Also, if you want any specific topic to be taken care in the upcoming webinar, so please do write to us. We will definitely uh, take those uh, video uh, sessions as well. So talking about our today's speaker, Amit Kumar, he is a technical lead at SaaSworks. He is a skilled Salesforce developer with over a decade of experience. Having worked for two prominent companies and successfully completed 55 Salesforce projects, his expertise spans a wide range of practical applications. One of his greatest joys is sharing his knowledge with other developers. And as a mentor, he had the privilege of guiding and empowering numerous individuals on their Salesforce journey. So let's embark on an exciting Salesforce adventure together, unlocking its endless potential and making a positive impact in the world of technologies. So i'll stop sharing my screen and uh let's say you can share your screen yes just give me a second So, okay. Uh, good morning. So, thanks, uh, uh, Swati, for inviting uh, in this session. And I am very honored to be here to present uh, present my knowledge, to share my knowledge. As Swati introduced me, so we can uh, directly go uh, go on. So, today's session is about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, your screen Sorry. is not visible to us. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I will share. I will share my screen. Okay, okay, yes. sure, sure. Sorry. Yes, yes. So, so we'll directly go on to the content. So today, uh, today topic is GraphQL. So, so Salesforce has newly introduced this, uh, this uh, GraphQL API. But uh, this API is not new. It's, uh, uh, it's being used by uh, uh, other company like uh, Facebook, right? So, what is the benefit of you will understand and how it is different from, how it is different from uh, LDS, uh, LWC LDS wire adapter we will also see in this session. So, let me share my screen. So is my screen visible? Uh, Swati, can you please confirm? Uh, yes, it is visible. Also, okay. there's a tab like uh, hide is there. One one bottom bar is there. You can just hide it. Yeah, this one. Thank you. OK. So GraphQL. So everyone 
I think it's very new uh, API introduced by Salesforce. But uh, everyone, uh, every one of us have used the REST API, right? So it's similar to REST API, but uh, but its features are very uh, uh, its features are very important than REST API. I Means it's uh, it's it is very beneficial beneficial than the REST API. We will understand by example. So let's uh, go through the uh, go through the. Pointers I have I have written here. So basically, GraphQL is a query language for API developed by Facebook. So as I told, it's not a new API. Uh, it's already being used by the Facebook, and it enables client to request only the data they need and nothing more. Means it uh, it has the features. Uh, it will give only data what client request. It is it will not give more and it will not give less. Right. So it's a very benef beneficial from the point of view of the uh, bandwidth and it it from the performance point of view also. So we'll understand how we how it is how it will give only data we are requesting. So we'll understand through the example. Uh, so in the last point, I uh, it's uh, I have elaborated. Uh, it allows clients to precisely request the data they need from the server, making it more efficient and flexible. REST API. So, in REST API, uh, I will show you the example where when we uh, do uh, get the resource using REST API, we don't have the control to what uh, data we are getting. It will give all the data. So, for all the data will not be required for the client, right? Client, client who is requesting. So unnecessary, we are giving the extra data, so it will uh, it will impact on the performance. It will impact on the bandwidth also, right? So how GraphQL uh, returns only the precise data, we will understand. So, that, so whatever you have the questions, we can take up in the last last of the session. You can uh, either chat, uh, paste it over the chat, or uh, directly we can talk in the last session of the few. So types of operations in GraphQL. So GraphQL, what types of operations provides uh, GraphQL? So query. Query means we can fetch the data, right? We can read the data. So a query is used to fetch data from the GraphQL API. So this is equivalent get calls. So for example, if, if we have to get the uh, data from the Salesforce uh, system, Salesforce, or for example, let's say we have to fetch the account record using the REST API. So Salesforce provides the a standard REST URL, right? Through that URL, yeah, we, we get, get the data. data. So similarly, GraphQL also provides the uh, a URL through which we can query the data from the Salesforce. So Basically, Salesforce has introduced GraphQL uh, as a REST, as a you can say that as a equivalent to REST, and it also uh, into, introduced GraphQL adapter for LWC also. So LWC can connect with the Salesforce and get the data. So there are two things: GraphQL API like a REST a REST API and GraphQL adapter like LDS adapter, which which all we are using, right? Uh, we uh, we will connect whatever we are talking. We will connect. Uh, you will able to connect. You will you will be able to relate where once I example, right? Client can specify the exact data they need and its structure using a query like key clients can specify which exact data they need and queries are run synchronously means key uh, this synchronous call means once the client request and he he will uh, get the response then they can do the further processing right so that is not a, like a, a sync call mutation so uh, currently uh, Salesforce is not supporting this uh, operation. Mutation means ki we can change in the data. Means we can create, uh, uh, create, update, and delete the data like a rest post put or uh, delete methods, right? So, but currently it is not supported in Salesforce. But the uh, may uh, it may support in Winter 24 release. So we'll not talk about mutation. This uh, uh, this session is only about the. Uh, overview of GraphQL and its
questions query. Uh, how we can query uh, uh, query the data from the Salesforce using REST API, uh, like REST API calls or using LWC uh, uh, adapter, right? So uh, other uh, other operations like subscriptions. So it is also not supported uh, by Salesforce yet. But yeah, in my future release, it may support. Uh, platform event type things can change data capture things key uh, clients can uh, subscribe to certain events and receive data when those events occur on the server right so it it is not supported yet by salesforce so we'll talk we'll focus only on query part here so benefits of using uh, graphql so as as we talked uh, efficient data fetch means ki whatever we are requesting uh, it will return exactly uh, exactly those data so it same data fetch right single request multiple resource so if you have to uh, for example if you have to retrieve uh, account and contact record using uh, i guess rest api also and lds adapter right which we are all are using we have to do multiple multiple calls to the server right but using graphql we in a single request we can fetch multiple resources means we get data of account we can get data of contact right uh, and other supported object also right complex data queries i'm working on get up, uh, i have worked on lwc adapter right uh, LDS adapter, you cannot make complex queries in that. Even you cannot make a filter. In filter, you can only specify the record ID. Basis on the record ID, you can get the data. GraphQL, using GraphQL, we can define the fil complex filters. We can uh, even def uh, get the, uh, use the aggregate queries. Means we can make the complex queries. We can make the complex queries. So as of now, as of now, I I hope uh, whatever I have talked, it's clear. Person still now, I can see the chat. Yes, person. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So yeah. So I, I am assuming we uh, uh, you all people are sync with me and uh, able to understand. Now let's understand through the example whatever we have talked here, right? So Umesh, currently uh, Salesforce is not supporting uh, uh, mutation operation. So once it is uh, supported by Salesforce, so they will provide, basically they will provide the, uh, you can say that uh, uh, the a specific URL through which we can create, uh, update and delete the uh, data. Right. Similarly, in LWC uh, uh, GraphQL adapter, they will provide a, a corresponding operations type through which we can do the mutations, right? So currently it is not supported. So let's focus on a uh, query as uh, query part only. So I have my, uh, I have a uh, postman. So through postman, we, we all know we can, uh, we can test all the Salesforce uh, standard rest uh, standard API is even custom API. So let's understand first how rest API works means the current uh, REST API works. So for example, if I have to fetch any account record, uh, uh, if any, if I have to fetch the data of any particular account record, so I have ID of one account of in my, of my org. So I will not going uh, to teach you how Postman works. So uh, considering Postman ha is authenticated with my Salesforce org and I am able to, uh, connect with my Salesforce, right? So through authorizations, I have auth2 uh, uh, authorization, I have already connected with my Salesforce source. Now I can make any uh, API calls to my Salesforce source. So, so let's say, so for example, if I have to get, uh, make a get call and get the data of my account, uh, uh, my account record. So what is the URL? you can say that it's an instance url and slash services slash data slash 
वर्जन देन स्लैश एस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एस ऑब्जेक्ट्स लेट मी को फॉर सॉरी फॉर रेफरेंस पर्पस मैंने गिव द एग्जांपल ऑफ ग्राफ क्यूएल yeah so we are talking about the url uh, instance url slash services slash data slash version slash this objects slash account so i i have to fetch the data of the account right and let's take the id of uh, a one account from my org so let's say amit one there is one record of account amit one i'm now i'm making the clicking on the send button so if you see if you see here you can see i don't have the control of the what data we are getting it is it has returned all the data all the fields of that account but i don't require this right so if, uh, when we do the api call using a standard rest api provided by the salesforce and i am going to if i am going to fetch the record of any object let's say i i we are fetching here account record so it is returning all the fields of that account maybe uh, maybe i am not requiring this all the fields so what 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 is the disadvantage of this i am getting unwanted data and if i am getting the unwanted data it is it will impact on uh, on the bandwidth it will impact on the performance right now let's see example of how i can fetch using the graph ql similar uh, similar similarly i want to fetch the data of this account record using graph ql so you can see collect there uh, there is a graph ql you and i go to the account by id here you can choose under the graph ql account by id okay and url will be a uh, whatever i have pasted here after version you can replace a subjects account and type graph ql and operation will be post okay and let's uh, and here here you can uh, uh, here you can uh, provide the id so what was the id of the account just a second now let's see what 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 it has written so can you see this i will talk about the what i have provided in the bot, uh, request body but can you see this i have only fetched id so in the request body i have provided only the so this is the request uh, graph ql and in, under the edges under the node you can focus on the node uh, node object i have provided id name value so it will return only the id and name field let's say i have to uh, another object uh, so another, another, uh, 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 another field uh, so what is the field let's say annual revenue just a second name and all revenue right it's fine Let's check now you can see there so now it is returning another 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 data another field so whatever i am specifying it is returning only those data 
so isn't it uh, uh, beneficial than the uh, or, uh, you can say that existing rest api it is similar it is equivalent to rest api the co the process is similar right whatever we we were doing with uh, rest api is a current is a standard rest api we are doing the similar process through the graph given but the uh, but but the you can say that response is different right and when the response is different it has the many benefits right as a key efficient data we are getting right we will uh, if we get the efficient uh, exactly precisely data so it will uh, improve our performance and bandwidth also so i hope whatever we talked uh, here whatever we uh, talked here right now you are relating with this example i am just giving the overview right and if you get the idea if you get the basics so my only focus is that ki understand the basics right okay i am not going to teach you some advanced things right but if you understand the basics then when you get the requirement you can decide what approach you have to take if you if you are Uh, getting uh, some complex requirement, but if you know the basics, you can easily uh, easily work on that, right? Easily uh, solve that uh, requirement, complete that requirement. Okay. So now we have talked about ki how REST API works earlier and how equivalent graph QL uh, is working, right? Now let's uh, let's understand using LWC adapter. so some of my vs code has stopped working so i am working through the this lightning studio so i i have already made one example right so let's understand this is a very basic example so first of all let's understand the js part so we all already know what is this so import lightning element we already know what is this so if you have to make a lwc component we have to import the lightning element and if you are going to use the wire decorator we have to import it as well now the new thing is that if you are going to use graph ql wire adapter you have to import this module from the uh, this uh, this uh, this module ui graph ql api we have to import this gql and graph ql we have to import this from this and once we import this we can use using the wire decorator so here is the syntax syntax of uh, looking at the first time it will uh, it will like uh, it's a very complex syntax but no but it is not similar so what is wire we are using the graph ql this then we are making a query and under the query there is a gql and using this gql we are making the query and query and this is the name of the query means uh, you can say that you can name anything here then ui api query and here object name here you can define the filter what so do can you do this using lds wire adapter i don't think so we cannot do this we cannot apply a filter using lds wire adapter we can apply filter but we can only specify the record id by using record id we can fetch the data but basis on other uh, other field we cannot fetch the data right and under this there is there are edges and then node under the node all the data are coming you can uh, specify all the data which data <coughs> sorry which fields do you need which fields you need so i have specified id name annual revenue phone industry this uh, so five fields i have specified now once this operations done we can handle it using property or function as like lds wire adapter so once we get the we get the response from the wire operation we can directly bind it to using property or using function so here i have used the function data so the response will come in the data and under the edges node all the data are like that so i have i trade through that and i have assigned it to the 
one attribute accounts and here on the html i have iterated through the template for each and i have a specified account dot name dot value annual revenue phone rate value just like lds wire adapter but the difference is that we can specify the filters here even we can do uh what we can do uh order by limit whatever it means you can make a complex queries here so if we see this uh, on the ui how it looks like so let's see so here i have all make made the alert so if you see how the data are coming so we can so by using the json you can easily know ki how you can bind on the html right so if i go uh, walk you through the json result you can easily understand under the ages means ages is a collection you can say that it's a list you can say that it's a list and it is holding the node and node node object and node object basically containing all the all the uh, uh, all the data so this is the first account record right this is the second account record right so there are only two records right uh, whatever because i have specified annual revenue colon greater than this is a gt so there are so many uh, you can say that key keywords for applying the filter greater than equals less than so like that so you can you can do some uh, uh, rnd key what what is that those filters keywords so greater than equal less than like that okay so only two records if you see why only two records came so because only two records have more than annual revenue 2000 whatever i have specified so let's see if i specified so uh, on the ui you can see that there there are two records have come right so i have binded the fields right so whatever fields have the value they are displaying here okay and if i sorry so if i change the uh, filter to 10000 yeah something like that so i think it will not return anything so now changes are saved now let's see so no data you can see here why it is coming one data is coming so however what uh, i think okay so this is matching with this data okay so this is matching yeah so this is a little greater than this value so so you can see that uh, this this uh, it, uh, this time we got only one record so you can see that key filters are working right so if you get the requirement for from now from today if you get the requirement like that and you don't want to use apex to get the data from the sales force you can you uh, uh, easily use graphql apply some filters right here and get the data without using the apex and get the exact data what you need i hope uh, you have understood this example now let's uh, uh, i will show you another example very multiple objects so i'm i'm showing the difference by so, uh, so by giving the example so you can easily relate what i have talked in the uh, in my uh, in my points in my presentation right so see the see the uh, syntax just see the syntax so here what i am doing i am fetching account and contact as well so similarly you can fetch many many object also so i can you do uh, can you can we do through using lds adapter i don't think so 
we cannot do however we can fetch multiple records based on basis on record ids multiple record ids right but we cannot fetch like this ki we have to fetch the count record first five we have to fetch the contact record first five right so sim uh, similar to the previous example here we have uh, account and contact and then we are and what it is doing after this once this operation complete the data the response will be stored in this uh, property and i have make getter and setter so you know all already right ki when getter uh, sorry i have, so when getter calls so under this getter i am using the graph ql property so under the getter function if you have used any property which is getting changed so getter will call automatically right so get accounts i have make uh, one getter and another getter is get contacts so on under the get accounts getter function i am going through this uh, property and getting the account data similarly which we saw in the previous example getting the account data similarly in get contacts uh, uh, get contacts uh, uh, getter function i am i am iterating through the contact records and on the html i am binding accounts and contacts i am binding this property getter get accounts so i have binded accounts here and account dot id account dot name contacts contact dot id contact dot name so if you see this uh, on the ui so we can see this here so here you can see account records contact records i hope this example also give uh, gives you some idea about if you get the requirement like that you have to fetch you means you have to uh, you have to make a custom page where you have to fetch the data from the multiple objects at the same time and you don't want to use any uh, apex and even you have the complex filters you can apply here and without using apex by taking benefit of the graph ql adapter you can easily make a custom page and show the data so there there are lots of benefits if you are not going to make a class we don't have to write the uh, epic, uh, test class means maintenance will be also easy right so there are lots of benefit if you get, if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, do r and d on this more if you go through the uh, uh, i think uh, uh winter 23 release uh, you can go through that uh, right uh, that pdf so you can easily means you can easily find out what are other features are there so, but however i have I, but however i have completed uh, uh, all the basics all the all the basic things which uh, which is introduced in graphql and now you have the basics idea about graphql okay uh, and uh, i hope uh, Uh, you all have understood the uh, this example uh, uh, right and the session if you have any questions we can take now i can achieve account and contact by wrapper class as well so vikas can you elaborate one more uh, in detail your questions you are saying ki wrapper class yeah wrap but if you are going to use wrapper class we have to use the apex na so i don't want to use apex classes by no, without using the apex class i am i am fetching the data from the multiple objects so that was the main agenda for that uh, showing that example uh any yeah yes swati yeah uh, because you uh, if you are not clear with the answer you can please elaborate your question and people if you have any other questions please do write to us why, why can't cannot we use a wire adapter we can use wire adapter but i have so i have shown you the difference in wire adapter you cannot do complex queries you cannot apply filters you cannot uh, retrieve multiple objects data at the same time 
you have to do multiple rounds right we have to uh, call again call right so we can we uh, wire adapter is not retired from by sales force but i have shown you the difference here what are the benefits so basis on the requirement you can uh, decide which approach we have to use yes any uh, any 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 other question okay so we have some time left so we can uh, uh, if you have any questions we can okay so whoever uh, have attended this session uh, you can give the feedback did you understand my session is uh, did you get any benefit from this session so you can uh, paste here yes you can write yes if don't you can type no as well so if you want to give the feedback using yes or no that would be and no one wants to give the feedback as well good session thank good session Tejas. okay as please put your feedback it is really important for us also please post your feedback and if you have any doubt or any anything you want to understand it again you can just write it here um it will take up again if something is not because hey, uh, i have a yeah swati because i think wants yeah, to yeah. I, I i i'm unmuting him give me a okay. hey, can you hear me amit yes yes because i can no i'm krishnamurti speaking yeah. Sorry, yeah, I'm Krishnamurti speaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I so I understand the purpose of Grab, GraphQL adapter, mm -hmm. and you also mentioned that we can retrieve multiple objects, mm -hmm. but you also mentioned something at the start wherein uh, once we get the data, mm -hmm. we can actually, uh, I, I'm not sure, we can like pass it to another method. Can you explain it like once again as to what you're doing that? Because okay, the okay. syntax was confusing for me. So, have you used LDS adapter? It means a uh, wire. Have you worked with wire? Deco uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so what uh, what I was trying to uh, explain there. So, this is the operation, right? So, so just focus on at this this selected. So, what it will do? It will give the result after behind the scene it will retrieve the result and whatever result will come we have so we, once we get the result we have to handle that right keep right so we can handle using either property or function so here i have used function so the result will be passed into the function in the form of data so here i have used function but in this example i have used property so whatever result will come it will store in this property and by reading this property i can iterate whatever data we want so wire adapter whatever whatever data whatever result returns from the wire functions we can either store in the property or either story either handle it using function so that is the syntax I hope you understood now. Oh yeah, so it's the same as the as how we do it for the wire adapter. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Right. right. Thank you. Oh uh, hi. Hi. Yeah. So actually, uh, Amit, my doubt was, uh, as I said uh, that fine, I can achieve the same even my wrapper, and you told that yes, but uh, here we're not using any Apex class. That's completely okay. But in the real time environment, Amit, when we, mm. whenever we wrote any project, we all depend upon a back backend class, right? So like we want to achieve, we want uh, uh, multiple components taking fetching the data from one Apex only, right? Mm -hmm. So on that case, Amit, uh, uh, this GraphQL where we can use for example if tomorrow if i need to show to my boss this feature and he do ask me the same question like uh, uh, are we going to fetch the data from apex anyhow 
So what are the additional advantage of that other than these two things? So, so for example, you are saying that uh, yeah, you have asked why we cannot. So in case, so for example, you have complex requirement after getting uh, means uh, after getting the data, it depends upon upon ki what uh, what is the requirement. Even after af, so for example, after getting from the multiple after getting records from the multiple objects, even we do we do transformation also in JS, right? So why we use wrapper? Means we use wrapper because we have to fetch data from the multiple so multiple uh, multiple. Uh, record multiple objects right and then we have to do some transformation as well that's why we use wrapper if you have to fetch the single data from the single single record we 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 directly bind with the objects so we go for wrapper because we we are fetching the data from the multiple objects so without using wrapper class here we can also leverage the benefit of uh, graph ql because after getting the data from the multiple records, we can do the transformation as well in the JS part, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, like mm -hmm. my doubt is in, in real time, again, if I need to show to my boss the same feature, fine. He just asked me the same question that fine, but in our project, where actually mm -hmm. we using fetching everything from controller. So just showing one records is not our case. It will be like, if we show one record, there will be, you know, ID passing through multiple sub components as well, right? So that is real time scenario on that where I can convince him that GraphQL will be usable for me or usable for our project. That's my doubt. So currently what month, uh, can you explain what type of a screen you have means how, how the data is being displayed? Can you explain some? Uh, see, uh, Scenario wise, if I tell you, um, it, it's like I have multiple components over there, right? So right. Uh, in, in in one component, if I click, that uh, record ID passes, passes to multiple components. And based on that, the, the details will show up of that uh, particular record in the UI. Now, if, if I want to embed GraphQL functionality in that project to just uh, show an additional new thing, new update, so how can I convince them that this will be at this part to, you know, this project, like, uh, they will maximum say that fine, this uh, data fetching without Apex, that's great. But anyhow, we can, uh, we can achieve the same by doing a, a little, little advanced protocol also, if you give, give, give or, or, or conditions. So basically the rest API you call just, you know, input, you just put or condition based on that, they will just show up the, uh, SOQL result from the rest of here. So what are the other advantages on top of that, that you achieve? That's my doubt. No. So if you have the screens where you have, uh, currently, where you, where you, you have to show the data only right in the view mode, right? So there is no, any other operations being performed like create update and delete. Uh, uh, so we can use GraphQL without using Apex, right? So you can show them the benefit. Without using Apex, we can fetch from the multiple data and even we can do some complex uh, uh, transformation, even complex queries as well. If you have the very complex conditions to show the data, so we can do using GraphQL, right? You can, we can. So we can easily replace the Apex classes there. And uh, even, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please. So, and even it will uh, improve the performance of the page as well. Because uh, when we use graph uh, Apex class, uh, it's so caching fun functionality will not be there, right? So, okay, so okay, and this 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 by the cache functionality. So it, this will also improve the performance of the page as well. Okay, okay, thank you. Yes. So uh, just adding on to that, Amit. So. If I'm not wrong, if we are using Apex class and mm. like, so, so, so from JavaScript, we have to make a call out to Apex. So we will have those, uh, round trips when we use the Apex classes, whereas with GraphQL, it's direct, right? Yeah. 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 So for example, uh, if you have to, uh, if you have to, uh, if you are using Apex classes and you have, uh, very complex requirements, right? 
so maybe you you, you have to use uh, you have to do some round trips as well to get the data but uh, uh, using graphql at the same time the, by using single uh, single round trip we can fetch multiple data oh uh, hello yes uh, just i have one more doubt through graphql can i pass any of my random selected record id also for example just you said that uh, we have one lwc as well in which we we show graphql without apex right mm -hmm. so is there any possibility that we can uh, select any of the apex record and that will be dynamic one and that record id we can pass to any other component also no so currently so i understood so for example what we can currently graphql does not support the mutation right but okay. uh, if we can fetch the record using graphql after fetching the record we can pass that record to any 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 other component and if you want to do some operations we can do using apex or we, we can do using apex as well we cannot use graphql for that but yeah however by fetch by getting the data using graphql and whatever data we have got we can pass it to any component right we can pass but performing creation, updation, and deletion on those records, it will not be possible using GraphQL. We can use Apex there or LDS adapter as well, wire adapter as well. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thank you. Yes. Sir, can we batch the query using GraphQL? Can we batch? Sasi Khan, can you explain? Uh, if uh, Swati, if you can unmute Sasi Kant, we can. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, hi Sasi Kant. You can, I think you can speak now. Hi, Sashikant, you can unmute yourself and uh, explain your question. OK, I think he is not able to. OK, so I think uh, Swati, uh, Swati, sorry. So we can conclude the session if you don't, if you have don't any question. Yeah, I think everyone is clear with their doubts. So thank you so much, Amitra, for taking up okay. this session on our weekend. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Hope this session give you some information and it will help you in, in your career as well. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks everyone.